guys hatch and they were right beside my bed a couple weeks and look at them they're so beautiful My name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Western Pennsylvania. I want to announce that I am leaving here very, very, very soon. <laughs> I've been here a bit to recoup after South America. That was a lot. It was, I was so burnt out. It was intense. I promise, I didn't promise. I told you guys I was going to do this and I just did it. One day I just booked the ticket. And I'm like, I, I'm very unprepared, mind you. I'm going to South Korea in Seoul. I don't know anybody there at all, not a single person. Um, <laughs> I don't know the language. I don't know the area. I'm very scared. I used to live in Koreatown in Los Angeles and that's the closest that I've gotten to knowing anything about Korea. Um, I have been interested in going to Korea for a while, like years now, and I haven't because they've been closed for years. They very recently um, did away with the quarantine rules, which there's still quarantine rules in place to go to South Korea, you have to be fully vaccinated, which means that you have to have a booster shot. So I went and got the booster shot. Getting a booster shot. I don't want to get one, but you have to for Korea. So I'm gonna go in this, this Rite Aid that's very poorly reviewed and get another shot. I hope this one makes me sick though. All right, we'll get it ready. Look at the store. You gotta wait for an hour at the drive-thru. It takes you an hour to make your pain in here. I got really sick from it, but just like for a day. Um, it was fine. I could handle it, but yeah, it was a lot. And so now I'm fully vaccinated and I have to make that into like a, I did register online and make a QR code. You have to get, you know, your visa. I can stay there for up to 90 days as just a tourist from America. This is the plan here. I'm tired of the way I've structured my life and how unstable it is. And I feel like I could do things way better than I have done them because I keep burning myself out and I, and I keep getting to this dead end and I, I can't progress out of it because I keep moving and this and that. And I want to continue to keep traveling, but in a different way. I want to move somewhere. Now I'm in a place where I need to figure out where I need I want to move. And this has been my goal for traveling for a long time. I've rolled out a lot of places that I would not want to live, but there's still some I have to experience first before I know if I want to live there or not. South Korea was one of those that I'm very interested in. I'm not sure how it's going to go, so I need to go there and experience it for as long as possible. I'm really hoping I stay there for three months, the three months I'm allowed. It depends on how lonely I get, how much I like it, if I can afford it. Uh, the first month, I just got a hotel because I don't know the area. The one thing that when I travel, I rely heaviest on is uh, Google Maps. And they don't have Google Maps in South Korea. They have it everywhere else, but in, for some reason in South Korea, it's, it's banned that it's not allowed to be in use. I always fall back on, oh, at least I have my GPS, but this is a whole nother ball game. Like I'm not worried about my safety. I'm worried about everything else though. <laughs> 
I got a new camera that I needed and I'm gonna try to vlog everything with it. It's a Sony a7 III, which I've been wanting for years and I'm really grateful for it, but it really set me back financially wise. Um, but this is part of my job. So I wanted to upgrade finally. And I'm gonna try and vlog with this while I'm there. I don't know how that's gonna go. It's very heavy. I have nowhere to lift now. I need to, to get the ball rolling. It's been a lot. There's been a lot of things that have really disrupted my life one after another. And now I feel like it's the time to really focus and think because I'm in a place now where there's not external people or forces that are hurting me or making me feel bad where I can kind of focus on trying to live my life now. I have no attachments to anyone, you know, out in the world. It's not pulling me anywhere. So I can just, I can focus and think clearly of where I really want to be. I'm not doing this for anyone but myself, which is a good spot that I haven't been in for a long time. Yeah, it's very intimidating I'm, I'm, and I'm terrified because I've been in these situations before where I get really, really lonely. That's the biggest thing. And um, I think that's the biggest thing with people anywhere. Moving, moving to a place where you know no one, especially don't know the culture or the language is really intimidating. And I kind of got, got a little comfortable being here and recouping. I've spent the whole month not talking to a single person except for like my mom. Uh, I've just been spending time in nature with animals, creating, and it's really refreshed my soul. Um, but I'm getting antsy to where I need to, I need to figure out something where I, I want to build something, you know, I want to build my life around something. It's kind of liberating and it's, I'm excited about it, but I'm really curious to know how it's going to go. Another thing is, is I went to the dentist here. I just wanted to get everything taken care of. And apparently I need some work. And the bill that they gave me was $4,800 because I don't have any insurance and anyway to pay for any of that. So it was $4,800. I'm like, fuck no, no, it's just, I can't. So I'm going to try to go to the dentist in South Korea. Um, I know it's a lot cheaper there. So that's some of my plans. I also want to show you guys the strange cafes, just like in Tokyo. I want to show you the tattoo scene there because I definitely want to get a tattoo while I'm there. Um, the gyms, I want to show you all of that. And I think it'll be, for me personally, as a person, it'll be better than Tokyo because I'll feel more free. I, more people probably speak English there. And I read that South Koreans don't hate Americans too badly. So hopefully uh, I'll make some friends or a friend or something. I'm going to pack and travel from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Seoul, South Korea. I have to fly into New York first and then it's a 15 hour straight flight to Seoul. I'm totally unprepared. I, I'm not in travel mode right now. I'm scared. This happens every time, happens every time. Remember, it happens every time. <laughs> PCR test afterwards. There is so many things you have to do to get into Korea. It's unbelievable. And I had like very stressful time at the airport. I'll tell you about it when I get to my hotel. Right now I need to find a taxi and get to Seoul because I'm still at the airport and it's like another hour and a half to actual Seoul. So I got a SIM card in there, got the PCR test, which I'm still confused about. I'll show that to you as well. But it has been a day, a very 15 hours that my whole body hurts from sitting for that long. I'm really nervous. Thank you. 